from? I know that face. Dealing with unpleasant thoughts, are we? <sighs> you know me well, Robin. <laughs> hey, remember when Lissa first brought me here? When I met all the shepherds? And Sumia. <laughs> oh, what a day. Actually, that's my first memory in a way. Right. I suppose so. I wish all of our memories since could have been as joyful. Yeah. I know. So much needless bloodshed. So many days of pain and doubt and fighting. We would have never made it without you there to guide us, you know. Yes. Funny. I was going to say the same to you. I guess we really are two halves of the same whole. <laughs> I've sent Frederick to search for Sable, the final gemstone. And I've been reading more about the Awakening Ritual. It seems that whoever attempts the rite must brave Naga's fire. If both body and spirit survive the agony, they are blessed with the dragon's power. Otherwise, the candidate dies. Um. What? No! Er, that is... Father, must you attempt this? <clears throat> Eavesdropping, young lady? I'm so sorry. Forgive me, Father. I didn't intend to. I came to speak with you, but I... I couldn't find the right moment, and... <sighs> it's alright, Lucina. And yes, I'll be alright, too. I will withstand Naga's fire. I'm sure of it. My lord. I have returned. With my classic line that never gets old. Hmm? Yes, Frederick. Did you find it? Right. I believe so, sire. King Valadar has exceeded the invitation. He says Plegia has been guarding Sable, and now he wishes to return it to you. What? Validar. Well... They sent word to me, my lord. They must have caught wind of my search. In any case, Validar asks that you visit him in person, that he might formally present it. Perhaps needless to say, my lord, but I don't like this one bit. Right. Neither do I, Frederick the Wary. Neither do I. At best, it's selfish political maneuvering at a time when the world is can ill afford it. At worst, our run of the mill, our run in with those, our run in with those risen last, what the fruit? At worst, our run in with those risen last visit was no accident. God stinking darn it. Words are hard, but we will meet him. Send word at once. Really? My lord, are you certain that's wise? Mm. No, but we haven't the time to be certain. And my sister never refused a diplomatic gesture, no matter how foul-smelling. If he doesn't give us the stone, he may at least reveal where it is. Don't worry, Frederick. I'm not walking into this blindly. We will make certain everyone is armed to the teeth. That is, if I check my inventory right. beforehand, then the fire emblem, my lord. You ought to at least leave it behind. No. Unless that's what Valdar expects, and he comes to steal it with my best men away. No, it's safest with me for now. We'll learn the truth of Valdar's motive soon enough. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we defeated the almighty Walmart, and every single retail worker across the nation rejoiced in perfect harmony. In this episode... Where the fruit are we even going? Because we made it to the end of the map. We went back to Yulistal. Huh, so where else do we have to go, basically? Uh, we do have, like, a buttload of shops and uh, Risen roaming around, so... Uh, I guess we could check around to see if we actually want anything here. Uh, but, oh, hey, I guess down here is our next destination, Chapter 21, but... Real quick, I just want to do a quick little search around the place, see if there's anything else of interest. Doesn't look like it on this end. But yeah, we've completed another large segment of the game's story, and now we are finally in the final stretch. Hey, I've got a lot of things to say, but uh, let's just have it all sprinkle out 
throughout gameplay rather than just on the world map. So we'll just do what we normally do and check our Obamas. We got the whole Obama family here to greet us. Uh, we got Payne and Henry. God darn, he's gonna hate you. I've never seen. I've never seen you so happy. It's Henry. He's always happy. Did they serve carrots for breakfast. What? Play hide and seek with the nicest black cat. Was my lucky day. Sure, whatever. I would be stinking angry that unlocked a communication session. I would be forced to watch. Oh, uh, what's next? Donald and Cherish. Y'all sure fight hard out there. I reckon you're fighting for some big dreams, huh? Well, I would love to see my nervous child one day. Wouldn't that be magical? Are you trying to set Donald up with Minerva? Is that the perfect mate that you had in mind? Okay, not really. Oh, uh, what do we got? We have seeing a crazy hand man. What is this? A rifle of the legendary item of legend? No. A volant axe. That's cool looking. Uh, what else is there? We have Gaius and Robin. If I give you a cookie, can we team up during our coming battle? Certainly. I'll devise more strategies and drop by later. Robin loves cookies. I wouldn't have minded using Gaius more, but I don't know. We already got ourselves our thief. Uh, finally, Donald and Olivia. Hey, would you mind fighting with me during the next battle? I can tell you, you're a pro. I can't do much besides dance, but that would be wonderful. You can't dance at all anymore, Olivia. We stole that away from you. I like it's just her holding a sword, like, removes her ability to dance. I, more, I guess it's more so it removes the magic behind it, but still. We, get, we got the ability for it, so we should be able to keep on using it. Why am I getting deja vu of looking around... I don't know, like, right the last time I was like, if I look around, like, I could examine some of these things and pick them up, but no, I guess that's not the case. Uh, what do we got for support? We got Olivia and Payne. We got Cherish and Lanku. And that's it. Okay, let's check those out. Thank you. I'd like to thank you, man spot. Uh, Olivia. Your dancing was of great assistance. <laughs> oh, truly? I'm so glad I could be of assistance. Yes. I hope you will continue to do so in the future. Huh? Well, I'll try, but I'm just so useless. Ow! Oh, I almost did it again. Hmm. Did what again? Sorry. I make excuses for myself in case I mess up. Please. You're referring to my accusation from the last time we spoke. Pay it no mind. It was unfair of me. No. Wait, see, the thing is, you were right. I do try to make excuses for myself. I wish I knew how to be strong and confident like you. Um, can you tell me your secret? Can you make me more like you? Well... Is this what you wanted to ask that last time you approached me? Oh... Yes, actually. <sighs> you make a difficult request. I know not from where, from whence my strength springs. I am a Togwell and you are not. It may be that I cannot teach you anything. Yes. Maybe so, but... I still want to try. Right. Very well. Give me some time to think about the problem. Oh, I have a feeling it's gonna have a very happy ending. And speaking of happy endings, let's see how Cherish and Longku are holding up. If I may. Longku? You again. Be gone! <sighs> we have to talk. There's more to the story of Kairi and her parents. So? Even so, I have no wish to hear it. If there is any mercy in your heart, you will leave the matter be. No, no. You will want to hear this. What? I think not. <clears throat> Her parents did not hate you, Longku. They were grateful to you. It's true that when Kairi was killed, they blamed you for her death. But then they learned how desperately you tried to save her. And when you vanished from the slum, they knew that it was their fault. <clears throat> Soon after Kairi died, they found her diary. They discovered what a good friend you had been to her. <laughs> Your friendship made her happy, and that, in turn, made them happy. So, they don't hate you. Not anymore. And I know that they would want you to know that. I'll return the favor. Thank you for delivering the message. No, no. It's my pleasure. It is good to be forgiven. And yet, I doubt this wound could ever truly heal. <laughs> I 
I'm glad that he finally got to hear that information, but it's still a haunting memory, definitely. It really makes me question whether or not, like, I'm... He just has such good communications with everyone, so I'm always questioning, like, who I wanted to pair him up with. I am happy with Pain, and, like, you don't have to... Like, with all these stories, I guess, when you think about it, like, you don't have to end them all in a romance. Like, people could just be, like, comrades and devoted to one another and help each other out through the worst of the worst. And you don't have to have, like, a romantic gain at the end of it. You could just be best friends. You could be family without that sort of a uh, love connection at the end of it. So I guess it isn't terrible. Like, I don't have to keep thinking about whether or not I should have paired them up or whatnot. They're becoming best friends and trusted allies. That's all I could ever really ask for. So I'll stop mulling over that and get myself equipped for the next battle. Okay, I went ahead and gave uh, Noe and Pain the Dragonstone and Beatstone Plus. Those are going to be really useful, but I'm going to hold off on using them until later because I'd rather have them the very last few fights as opposed to having them run out right now. They uh, do have a lot of use out of them. They're 35, but I don't think that would last me till the end of the game if I uh, had them as their main weapons right now, so I'll hold off on that. For now, though, let's enter Chapter 21. There it sits. Huh? What's wrong, Lucina? No. That great skull. I saw it once before, when Emmergine was sentenced to die. Even then, it reminded me of... him. What? You mean... Yes. Grima, the fell dragon. A cataclysmic war ushered in his return. It's said that he fed on the souls of the fallen before turning upon the living. is built upon the past, but your kind shall never see it! Your mother and father are dead, tiny one. <laughs> Your turn to die! Whether these are his true bones or just an effigy, I cannot say. But I know this. We cannot let that monster come back to life. Listen. We'll stop him, Lucina. I promise. The future can be changed. You've proven it already. And with all of us together, we could turn the course of history. Father. I want to believe that. I want to believe that more than anything. Trouble? Yeah. I saw armed soldiers hiding in the shadows as we were shown in. Right. Then it sounds like we have our answer already. Good day, my lord. What have we here? Prince Krom, welcome. I was told you had something you wished to give me. Oh. My, my. No time for courtesy, my lord. Such impatience. Do you really want it that badly? This concerns me. The gemstones and the fire emblem can be treacherous artifacts. A fact Plesia and the Grimreel sadly know all too well. 
What? Sadly, you speak ill of when the first exalt used them against the fell dragon. <laughs> yes, I do, intruder. <laughs> intruder? <laughs> you are not supposed to be here. You must be destroyed. What? You wouldn't dare. Now then. Give me the fire emblem. Give it to me! You mad scoundrel! This is a declaration of war! Oh. I will only ask one last time. Give me the emblem. Now! <laughs> Never. Oh. Then this parley is over. Guards! Seize them! <clears throat> Just as we thought. Krom. This way! Quickly! Robin had an escape route all planned out. How preciously clever of her. You should be proud. <laughs> if she had half the wits of her father, she would know they've already lost. God darn it, Bobby! We were doing so well with having our team with us at all times! Uh, I'm sorry, Sumia. You are the first on the kicking off the team list, though. Uh, that's not fair. What do we got? We're all grouped up in this one room. Oh, God, that just reminded me of that stinking horrible show. God darn it. Don't even mention that. Uh, well, I know our hot topic of conversation is going to be this time. Or this episode, rather. A lot of chests. Uh, we got some assassins. Are there, we got any thieves? Uh, I wonder. So that's always my main priority. Just looking for all the treasure. Uh, looks like they're all just assassins. Okay, let's get started. Are you ready? We have to get out of here now. Cut down anyone who gets in the way. <laughs> Signal the men in hiding and give these Ulyssian scum no quarter. Defeat the commander. Surprising absolutely no one, this all fell apart. They were never going to be true to their words. So, what are we going to do? Let's go ahead and put Anna with Tiki, I guess, as we tend to do. We'll put uh, Lucina, if I could find her, Lucina with. Krom. Why can't I put her with Krom? Do I need to move Krom first? Don't know why that is, but okay. Uh, Robin with Seiri. Uh, wait, Robin has a C rank with Laku? I didn't even know that. Um, let's go with Olivia and Payne. Why are you doing this to me, game? I don't understand. Uh, Laku with Cherish. Uh, Lissa... Hmm. Do I want to build a relationship with Tharja and Frederick just for the heck of it? Because having Lissa alone is dangerous because of... Wait, Noe? Noe doesn't have anyone? Um. Well, in that case, so I have four units available. Uh. So who do I want to pair up with Frederick? Tharja never dies, so... I guess I'll pair Lissa up with her and then Noe with Frederick. Or Frederick has been dying recently, so he needs more protection, I would say. We'll give Tharja to Frederick and then Lissa go to Noe. Let's see how we do. Let's get rid of all these fools. So there's an anime called One Room. I watched it solely because it had a name similar to One Piece. And uh, all the episodes were like five minutes long, so it was kind of short. Just like 11 episodes, they're all five minutes. And it's about like this guy who moves into this room and like interacts with these girls and stuff and it's all done in first person view and the guy doesn't speak at all uh silver bow. he doesn't speak at all like you just watch the girls talk and like somehow he affects their lives but like it's all super sexual as well because like 
Uh, the guy's kind of like staring at their boobs, and like they're all just like, "Oh my god, are you staring at my boobs?" He's like, no. And he's like, "Oh no, I'm just a dude." And so he's like, "Oh, but it's so romantic the way that you stare at them." And I'm just like, "What the fuck even is this?" And, like, there was also a, a sequel called like, I forget what it was called, but like it was like another retelling where like a girl was moving into like this apartment with three other guys, and then she was staring at all their naked parts and stuff. It was really sick and terrible. But like, I have this obsession with like, of. Not with naked parts, but like with uh, never dropping shows once I start them. So, and it was like so short, so it was like not that big of a deal to just keep on going with it. But it was. Uh, what do you mean they're gonna get a critical hit? I don't want them to. Uh, Noe? Somehow that doesn't get him a critical hit. Okay, so we'll attack with her. Or with Lissa, rather. But yeah, um, once I started, I would just have to finish it just so I can move on to something else. And I finally did that. And. My god, am I thinking anime watching uh skills if you want to no, know anime watching habit or whatever has completely dropped i've i have not watched anything i watched like two new shows in 2017 and then like literally nothing in uh so far in this year and i keep on saying this every single year if i watched one episode of anything on my to watch list a day then it would all be caught up in less than a year but i just can't get myself to do it because like anytime i want to watch stuff it's like during a meal and, um, it's because whenever I'm, uh, eating or whatever, I might be watching a show that's subbed and I won't be able to focus on the subtitles, even though I watch One Piece every morning, every Sunday morning when I'm eating breakfast, so I guess that's not a good excuse. But I don't know what it is, like, I just gotta force myself to watch an episode of something a week. It's just like, right now I'm just working my way through Sound Euphonium, so, uh, that's what's kind of been dragging me or just making me not want to continue because I want to finish that show before going on to other ones but I've not been enjoying that show at all it's just so sing and slow I'm like only four episodes in though so I should be giving it more of a chance but I just can't force myself to do it and uh Noe's about to die which is unfortunate or Liz is about to die unless Noe wants to save the day miracle that's a great stinking ability did you always have that Lissa that's her first ability Jesus Lissa you're amazing uh, but you can't heal yourself. That's unfortunate. They literally all went for a stinking list with a fruit. Uh, I'm going to open this chest and get a noble rapier. Great. Uh, let's get rid of it. I guess I could give that to Lucina later so her and Krom can have matching rapiers. How sweet. Uh, you can take care of this guy anyway. Oh, oh he has a Nosferatu though. That's kind of scary. Uh, what do I want to do? Olivia has the key, so I can thankfully make my trip around here a bit shorter. I should get rid of these guys, though, just so um, they could possibly get through here quicker. Uh, let's see, you guys could go right here. Let's have Lucina get rid of this guy. Uh, what level is she at right now? She is at... Oh, she heals herself when she does that? That's cool. Uh, we'll never know. Hooray! Uh, level 10. Okay. Krom is level 11. Good to know. Um, we'll have Tharja go... Tharja can't attack that many people, so... Go down here. Uh, attack from this distance. And surprising absolutely no one, she murders them first try. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go over here... Now, if I get rid of them, uh, how about if we go in here just to, like, keep her safe? She'd be safe as we just switch around. Um, I wish Noe, Noe could heal herself, or Liss- I don't know why I keep getting the mix up, like, they're just the two little girl characters, so I keep getting their names mixed up right now, and having them paired up doesn't help. Uh, let's go... I mean, it stinks that this is like probably the best option, but just go for it, I guess. Go and do that. Now that Noe, now that Noe is switched in the front, I was about to say Noe switched out of the front, but of course he's messing up over and over. Level up. Booty 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 boo. Oh, that's a lot of stats right there. Up next is you two can still only move that distance, so it wasn't all that worth it to do that. Do I want to have you guys attack these? Uh, there's no real reason not to, honestly, so just go ahead and get rid of them. 
Uh, there we go. It's funny, like, Robin's like, you're alright. I was like, I thought she was talking about Seiri. Like, yeah, you're alright. You're a decent enough human being. Get rid of that. Uh, and everyone else just sort of head down here. Do I want Cherish to be taking all these people? Uh, they're sword users, so it'd be better to have... Oh, it does. Sting an archer? Yeah, right. Okay, good. Good thing I checked that right at the last second. Switch to long coup. And Olivia is so stinking slow. Switch to pain. You're attacking all the way from over there? Jeez, Meyer has a lot of stinking distance. Not stinking range, rather. Hey, Tharja, anyway, any possibility you could do that with your dark magic? Be really stinking cool. Well, it's like very crummy percentages, though, so I guess not all that great. I assume, like, the farther away it is, the less chance it is of hitting, but whatever. Uh, there you go. Let me attack Anna instead. Oh, jeez. Uh, this person's coming in. Who is it? Just a generic sorcerer. Okay. Uh, head up here so we can try and get rid of this guy. Uh, here's the one using Meyer. Dark magic allows for long range attacks, so it's specifically that. It's not all dark magic that could do that. Uh, let's head out here. Uh, ooh. God darn it. I wish you could heal Lissa. Um. Hmm, there's... Maybe I could just keep her back here. Uh. So how far does she reach? They would literally have to not move. God darn it, that's unfortunate. Well, is there really any reason to heal Lissa right now? If Noe's with her, then we're fine, so... But I also want to heal Anna. God darn it. Switch, Staff, Psyic, or Phyic, or whatever you call it. Uh, heal Anna from a distance. And level up. Okay, so it was not completely not worth it. And Anna, head up here. Heal Alyssa. And there we go. Uh, let's go. Ah, oh, they're all blocking the pathway. Let's get people moving. Making very slow progress through here, but I guess it's progress nonetheless. Uh, well, I guess that's definite one hit KO, but I'm sure she's gonna get a critical anyway. Uh, why not? We'll just go back to Thunder. Just mix it up a bit. Have uh, Tharsha murder people in slightly different ways. And there you go. Hopefully that won't come back and bite me in the butt during the counterattack. Uh, head down here. Uh, go over here. And attack this guy. There we go. Was that, was Cherish the one that said how charming? That was like, uh, unbefitting for character, I feel like. Uh, let's see, better. Uh, I should have switched back to the Killing Edge because we're not dealing with armored units anymore, but oh well. Still doing the job, no problem. Uh, just please don't hurt her, thank you. 30% chance. Uh, jeez, a lot of people with the Meyer thing. But it looks like they're not that far away on the battle screen, so why is it so that we can't hit them? I don't get it. Okay. And ours is just having a jolly old time with what she's doing. Oh my god, like, how would you ever get through the game without her? She's just thinking insane. The amount of times, like, she's saved our sinking butt. Ouchies. You're already dead. And thank you, Frederick, for finishing them off. And Frederick gets a level up. Very, very nice. Oh, wait, no, those stars are god darn it. Uh, what did she say? I, it looked like something about before she could reach her nuts or something like that. I don't know why I read it like that, but so let's look back at that in editing. Killing is my job. Killing is my job. Oh my god, totally. And one more over there. Let's get this stinking treasure. A secret book. Oh, that's good for stat increases. Uh, let's head down here, I guess. Really wish we could be killing them right now, though. 
No, he can, but she has Anna with... Wait, no, that's Tiki. Hmm. Tiki can, but I don't want to because I have Anna with her and I want to be opening these just quickly. Uh, let's head over here. Oh, he has a master key. What's that? You can open either a door or a treasure chest. So there are door keys and chest keys. I never really noticed that before. I thought it was just always, they were all universal, but I guess not. I just never ran into that problem because A, I have Anna and B, they tend to give you the key that you need for the specific area. Um, uh, let's see. Can I reach? No, I cannot. I guess we'll just head down here anyway. And attack this guy. I have to switch over to Killing Edge, but whatever. It's not like it matters, because you're going to die anyway. You got, like, a double critical. Okay, sure. Why not, Longku? Just keep on being awesome. Shouldn't be too hard for you. Uh, let's go down here. Oh, I wish we could attack from a distance like that, but we can't. Uh, let's actually do this first, and then... Uh, we'll use Rally. I'm not sure if that's actually a good move, but whatever. Uh, it would be better if I had them down here with us, oh well. Uh, oh, you guys can move. Uh, I guess that's all we're doing. Enemy phase! There aren't that many guys on the board, so... a uh, matter of getting through all the labyrinths and hallways. And making all these pit stops with you know, the, all the treasure chests doesn't uh, speed things up either. Oh, they are specifically Meyer users that they put out in the open where we can't reach them, so they're always going to be attacking, and we can't stop unless we have Meyer as well. I'm sure there's like some archers that we could have of uh, reach them as well, but I don't have archers on my team, so oh well. Yeah, can you believe I actually went through like with my original team from my first playthrough, like I do with the Pokemon LPs? Like we'd have Sully and Veer on here and be super lame and boring. Oh my god, like, how did I even get through this thing in game? I'm enjoying it a million times more. So now it's sort of making me want to, like, use different types of Pokemon during uh, the Let's Plays, but I know, I've already done it, like, in this format so uh, for this long, so I might as well keep going with it. This guy's just not going to chase us, it seems like. Maybe he will once we're all out of range, but for now, it doesn't seem like it's so... Uh, I guess we'll just keep on attacking. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too terrible of an idea to keep Olivia out in front. Uh, Soul should heal her. Thank you. And the level up is nice, though I think she might be in trouble after this. Okay, let's go. Let's see, these are Axe, uh, Ruin. Oh, it drops a Ruin. Oh, Ruin is just weak dark magic. Uh, but it increases the likelihood of critical hits, so that's cool. But Thar she gets critical hits every single turn ever anyway, so not like it matters. Mm, let's go down here, I guess. Do I want to send Lunku back up here just to get this chest to make it a bit easier for Anna? We could send Anna over here, I guess. Uh, why not? Uh, we'll switch to chairs just in case he can't make the final stretch on his own. Uh, we will have Lissa over here. If she could reach, she could what? Our source of distance. If she could only reach Tharja, okay. I was sort of hoping she could heal uh, Olivia from this distance, but she can't. Uh, go here and switch to Noe. Anna and Tiki are still on treasure hunting duty. Uh, we're going to Let's see. All these guys remain, and that's the quickest opening. So we're just gonna head down here, attack this guy, For and I guess I'll send Crom. Yay! Yeah, he said the line. Oh, I'm so happy. Satisfied. Yeah, I'm very satisfied that he said the line. We're gonna send Crom and Lucine in the other direction, though. Oh, but it's locked. Poopy. Uh, and it could open the way for us on the way, I guess. Uh, just hope they don't have any ranged attacks that could hurt us from where they are right now. Uh, Olivia, 26%. I swear to God, if you get hit by this, I'm going to be really singing angry. Thank you. Now it's just a matter of surviving all these other dudes. Oh, we got one more Meyer guy. Meyer, Meyer, pants on fire. Thank you. 
And jeez, a lot of these guys are just roaming around here. It's all completely pointless. Like, why would you attack when you have a zero percent chance? I don't know. Just had to see the cutscenes. Like, I paid good money for this sprite. I'm gonna get my money's worth out of it. I don't see. Uh, Lucina can get hit from here, unfortunately, but uh, well, no, there's a zero percent chance. Okay, that works. Uh, thank you for dodging for, for guarding Frederick. And uh, Thar's just having the time of her life. Booty, 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 boo. Uh, Olivia, okay, now it's time for the really annoying guys, but they're still using Ruin. Didn't you have a sword? Why would you use the dark magic? You're not going to hit us with that. Okay, this guy, the 15% chance. Okay, maybe I have nothing to worry about. I'm just complaining over nothing. Thank you. And she gets a level up as well, which is nice. You know, I think I'm really helping. You really are, Olivia. You really are. And they're attacking from distance, so she can't counterattack. Uh, thank you. So she had literally nothing to worry about. That's good to know. And more of these jerkwads. Is there a way to get outside? There is not. So they're just going to keep on adding to these things over and over again. If they get super crazy. I might start skipping the fights, but uh, let's see what we got. What we got. Uh, I just want to head down as quickly as possible. Uh, hooey. Unfortunately, quick doesn't mean with Olivia, but I'd rather her get the experience. She's doing good with dodging, so I'll keep her out in front still. Anna, um, unlock this door for us. And Lucina, go to town on all these fools. My strength is you. Very good. So now we just gotta get on over here. Uh, you can open this chest now, finally. And it is... Fortify. What is that? Source HP of all allies in range. Good to know. Give that to Lissa later on. I said her name correctly this episode. Hooray. Uh, no, he can actually reach this guy. That's cool. Uh, but possibly Tharja can too. But Tharja could go after someone else like this guy i'm making good use of my characters my steel is yours. you want to do that uh dodge that and unnecessary critical is unnecessary but i always love seeing it from you tharja because you're the stinking best and now noe could go down here robin could also do it oh uh, could you actually ko them yes you can and i want more uh relationship buffs with you and seiri she oh, Robin is maxed out. She's a level 20 Grandmaster. It might be beneficial to change her class now, but... Hmm. I'll have to think about that. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it might be beneficial to change her class if you want to. Just to so give more stat buffs, more skills, but... Eh, I don't really want to. I guess I'll have to take a look as to what I can change her to. It's all right. Uh, see if it would be beneficial specifically to the mage that I like her being. Uh, just avoiding all these dudes and their useless attacks. More so of a time waster. It's like, we gotta make every episode an hour long. Well, joke's on you. I could use the power of skipping. Uh, we got a bolt axe, apparently. Uh, deals magical damage based on magic. Cool. <gasps> Wait, what? Um, I guess the boss decided to walk up and attack Tharja, and she murdered him off camera. So he didn't get to see his dialogue. Well, at least it wasn't a major character, but that's still really lame. I kind of wish that they would have shown that. I'll have the dialogue pop up on screen, I guess, if you wanted to see it, but... Sorry about that. Literally the one time I skip stinking battles just because it's the same thing with them missing every five seconds with a stinking uh, ruin or whatever it was. 
That's kind of unfortunate. But at least I have less stuff to edit, I guess. Right. Almost there. The exit is just... Wait, do you feel... Run all you like. You can't escape fate. Don't you know that? Father! The Fire Emblem. Give it freely or it will be taken. Gods. Just try it. <laughs> I won't need to do anything. Robin! Robin? Now then. Seize the fire emblem and bring it to me. <sighs> no, I... Ugh. Robin, what are you doing? Well done, my child. At last, the Fire Emblem belongs to me, and with my gemstone, it is complete. Now, to set the table and perform the rite. Wait! How dare you, Validar! Ugh. Ah! Uh. What have I done? Robin, we must go. I'm so sorry. Krom, I I don't I don't know what just what came over me. I'm so sorry. Listen to me. I know you are, but right now we need to focus on getting out of here. Yeah. Understood. Well, that's unfortunate. That's what you get for skipping battles, I guess. Let the lesson be learned. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we're going to see if we could reclaim the Fire Emblem that has just been stolen from us. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.